That's the church we tried to break in earlier. <laughs> Over here as well, they might not be gray brick. But they seem very popular to house a big number of people on the sheep. Yeah, yeah. It's very, it's, it was much cheaper. Nowadays, it's even hard to get these kinds of apartments. Um, but yeah, they were built all during Soviet Union times and it could house more people more quickly. The past is a past. Plus probably the building is abandoned. We have some buildings, but actually most Soviet Union constructions are still being used to actually house people these days. The ones that are being abandoned are pre pre Soviet Union. And that is really a shame because their construction is absolutely gorgeous. So it's really, really unfortunate. There's uh, like uh, some apartment houses. There's some just general government buildings that are abandoned and empty. And they're like hundreds of years old and no one cares. Sad. There are some from Soviet Union times as well, absolutely. But they're slightly newer. So I guess like the tenants are still living there or something. Not to commit any more crimes, Walter. What crimes are you talking about? I never committed any crimes. What are you saying? I've been innocent the whole time. Have you seen science? What's it like living there? Oh, that's a difficult question to answer. I don't live here. <laughs> um, it's kind of depressing to live here at times. If you have a good career and if you have, you know, both languages and family and your family has like some kind of funds like houses or apartments or something it's very nice to live here but if you're like a regular civilian who has a regular job and your family doesn't you know own anything really then it kind of it's very difficult because the wages are really low so you can't really buy an apartment or buy land because the prices are so skyrocketed these days. And as you see, like the meals here cost average 10 euros, um, which is very pricey, especially for our, our wages after tax. It's, it's pretty crazy. innocent of what? My mistake must have been a case of mistaken identities. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Can you go to church? Go in church? I can go in church, but I'm gonna set on flame. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't set a flame if I step, stepped into church. But, <laughs> but um, they definitely recognize me. They're like, ah, that's that streamer girl. <laughs> Gotta protect our altars <laughs> from her. I'm just you can go into most churches unfortunately some are not as available to go in like the one before was locked <laughs> Emma Lotam, I love your answer in Latvia you can even go to church for pee pee while listening to organ music yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. I love it. I love it. That's such a good answer. Thank you so much. <sighs> okay, I think I'm behind on chat again. Ten euros here. Yeah, I feel like food has.